Hi there, this is Chris from Money Hub, and this video looks at using a WISE account for the purposes of moving to Australia. Now, just as a background, there are plenty of options for bank accounts or accounts to use, and we've published this very useful guide called Open a Australian Bank Account from New Zealand, and you can have a read through that. That's linked down below in the video description, so you can see that you can that you can use ANZ, Combank, NAB, Suncorp, or Westpac, but there's also WISE as well. So while the other banks are a straightforward process, you sign up online, then you wait to get to Australia, and then everything's verified, and you get your account when you visit a branch, etc., etc. With WISE, you can get things set up in about 15 minutes, half an hour. Some people say less, some people say a bit more, depending on some, some of the things they're looking for. So the best approach here is just to walk through and show you how that works. So what you have, you can see with my account here, I'm currently traveling. Uh, so I did some purchases yesterday and uh, through using Transport for London. And I've got a few accounts set up for currencies that I've been traveling to. Now, what, oh sorry, for, for currencies I've been using. What you can do then at the end is you just set up an account and uh, you'll just choose a currency. So I've already done Australian, so it's not so helpful. Uh, but if I was going to do, if I was going to move to say Canada, then I'd click on Canada and then it would automatically load one of these accounts. Now, if I go to the Australian dollar one, which I just set up a few months ago, then I would go and I would see the receive and click on that and it's going to show me my, so these are my accounts. I want to receive money uh, with an Australian details, then that's my BSP and so my bsb and that's my account number so this is very straightforward and what you can do then is you can share this if you need to pay people then you can do it on the wise app or through the, through the website and uh, what this means is that you can uh, have full flexibility and you don't need to worry about you know setting up with paperwork uh, once you get to australia you can start doing it like well in advance of getting there now, what people uh, find quite useful is the fact that it's all synced to the same account. So if you needed to transfer money, say if I wanted to uh, fund $1,000 uh, from New Zealand dollars over to Australian, if I wanted 1000 then what I could do is I just go into here and I'd go convert and I would choose the currency and and I would say if I want a thousand, then the current exchange rate that Wise is giving is uh, 0.905, and of course that's a live rate, so that's going to change whenever you do this, and then it's going to show the true, or sorry, the full cost of this, which is going to be eleven hundred and nine dollars. And you can see here there's a small Wise fee, and that's for the uh, that's for the foreign exchange. So if I did that, then that would convert, and it would be uh, it would show up as one thousand dollars. What you can do though is you can use your as you can use your New Zealand dollar bank account, and that is perfectly fine if you're going to pay for stuff in Australia. It just means that it's going to be deducted in in New Zealand dollars. So you can see here that you know for recent transactions, uh, that's probably not a very good one because it's uh, because it was actually zero. Uh, um, but if you see here, if you were traveling in Australia, that's funny, this is uh, you know, the British one. But um, you can just see that the amount taken there is $3.63 and there's a small fee and that's what they converted to pay for that transaction cost. So that was for a bus yesterday. So it, that's how it works. It's very, very straightforward. Now there are, some, there are some limitations and if you want to just see what they are. So if I click on that, back to there. Uh, so you can copy all that as I said and then uh, what's worth noticing is that it says you can't uh, get account details to receive international AUD payments. So, so if you were going to send, say, money from your New Zealand bank account through your bank, say Westpac, say, say ANZ, if you wanted to use those details, then uh, you can't. It's not going to accept them for. It's, it's not going to accept them for whatever reason. Probably they're trying to get people to use WISE. And this is something that I can't really comment on, but it's not really a big limitation because if you're planning to be paid in Australian dollars, then usually it's going to come from within Australia. So these, these account details will be more than sufficient. So you can copy all that 
and uh, it's just very straightforward. You can also use some of the tools which they have. So you can request a payment and you can just type in the amount that you want and then uh, they say I want say $200. If someone owes you that or something like that, then you can write a note and then you can create that payment link. It's quite straightforward. And then there's also other sort of interesting things here. So you can download the statement details. And that's what it looks like here. It comes in the PDF. Let's get that to load. And you can see that here. So it's got the account number and it's got the BSB code and it says, and it's the address. So why is Australia? And uh, that's just to confirm that those are your account details. And then finally, uh, you can receive your salary or pension, things like that. And you can also set up direct debits and transfers to, to your landlord every month if you're renting a place in Australia, which most new people to Australia do. Uh, and then there's sort of other things as there. So it's a really, really useful tool. It's so cheap to, tra uh, to make transfers. That's what we like it. Um, well, that's one of the reasons that we like it. Secondly, it's going to come with a card. You have to pay about $14 for that. Uh, but then once you have that, you can install the app. And then everything is there just to kind of move around with. And you can track all your purchases. It does make moving money like really, really cheap. And uh, that's what I think is a fantastic tool with it. Because, you know, if you were to use your bank to move money from, Austra uh, from New Zealand to Australia, you're just going to pay more, which means you have less Australian dollars as a result. So that's the so that's our summary uh, video here. If you have any questions, please do leave them in the comment below. We want to make our guides, including the guide, which I'll link down below, as comprehensive as it possibly can be. So do ask us questions, and uh, we're very responsive in the comment section, and we will improve our guides if that helps people. Thanks very much.